Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is, wherever you are, welcome once more to another video podcast of Porn News Today Live. I'm your hostess, Alexandra Mayers. And remember, you can always find archives of Porn News Today Live along with plenty of other podcasts pertaining to politics, public figures, and more over on pntlive.net. Very quickly, I want to share some information with all the current adult industry talent in regards to the testing protocols that they are subject to when it comes to their participating in adult content production shoots. It is not safe for you to test outside of the Free Speech Coalition Pass Testing Network. The Free Speech Coalition leader, Michelle LeBlanc, has made that clear on several occasions, but I, someone who is completely unrelated to the Free Speech Coalition, am coming to you as well to tell you that from my perspective, it's absolutely not safe for you to test outside of that network, not only in regards to COVID-19, but also in regards to other STDs, especially HIV. Now, I have noticed that there are some long adult entertainment industry bloggers who appear to be encouraging talent to test outside of that network. But I'm here to tell you, those bloggers are not coming from a place of good intention. In fact, one of the bloggers who most aggressively is suggesting that talent tests with a testing clinic known as Talent Testing Services, which is no longer a part of the PASS Testing Network, which is a part of the Free Speech Coalition, is an individual known as Kelly Roberts. But it's questionable as to whether or not Kelly Roberts is only an individual or a group. But what is not questionable is that Kelly Roberts is directly affiliated with the organized crime group that has been charged with sex trafficking known as the luxury companion. Now, if individuals who are working in illegal circles as prostitutes want to test with talent testing services, I have nothing to say about that. But if you are a legitimate legal active adult actor or actress, a porn star. Stick with the Free Speech Coalition. Listen to Michelle LeBlanc. Stay within that past testing network. Do not listen to individuals with other agendas, such as Kelly Roberts of The Luxury Companion, which has been charged with sex trafficking, or another individual who is pushing the dangerous agenda of defunding the police, an individual known as Alana Evans. Do not listen to her. Listen to Michelle LeBlanc. She seems to be a good person who has the talent's best interest in mind. But just very quickly, I'm going to read to all of you a tweet that was posted yesterday from the Los Angeles Times. It states, breaking. LA County health officials issued a dire warning Monday that conditions amid the coronavirus pandemic are deteriorating rapidly and the highly contagious virus is spreading swiftly in the community. Now that tweet from my perspective, you would think would be enough along with some other health advisories that have been put out in the mainstream news for the Free Speech Coalition to go ahead and reestablish another production hold for the well-being of the active adult industry talent, but that's not for me to decide. That's for the Free Speech Coalition to um, make some decisions in regards to. Again, I have absolutely nothing to do with the Free Speech Coalition. I'm just here to share some information that I saw. But um, I am going to read to all of you some information and update, a frequently asked questions and answers update that was posted on the Free Speech Coalition's website as of June 22nd, 2020, simply because I think a lot of the active adult talent out there may not frequent their website, but they may frequent mine. So I feel like, hey, if you frequent porn news today, I might as well tell you what is going on. 
So here is a letter that was posted to the talent by Michelle LeBlanc. Dear community, since the release of the production guidelines and COVID-19 testing recommendations last week, we've been asked a lot of questions about whether they are mandatory or not and how they should be implemented. The return to production has been further complicated by the unexpected reduction of the number of available pass certified testing centers. To help clarify the current situation, we have updated the fact for PASS, adding more information about PASS certification, the PASS panel of STI tests, the Performer Subsidy Fund, and COVID-19 guidelines. The full updated FAQ can be found on fscpass.org, but the most pressing questions around PASS and COVID-19 are answered below. So here are some of the questions and answers that are answered on this particular FAQ. Is a COVID-19 test part of the PASS test panel? The PASS panel of STI tests itself remains unchanged. Because COVID incubation and transmission rates aren't well established, it could be misleading to choose an arbitrary for which you are clear to work. However, our labs are all adding a COVID test which will appear separately in the database. If you do test positive for COVID, you will not be cleared to work. FSC's preliminary health and safety guidelines for adult film production do recommend a COVID-19 PCR test one to two days prior to each shoot for every person who will be present on the set as a way to lower risk. If the COVID-19 test is conducted by a PASS certified provider, PASS has been modified to display those results. We've included a new field separate from the PASS panel clearance titled Last Negative COVID-19 Result. This field shows the date of the non-reactive COVID-19 test results and the number of days since that test was taken. However, Given the expense and increased frequency of the COVID test, we do not require that performers or crew pay for a test at a past lab. Local governments are providing free rapid testing, as are some health insurance plans. How you test for COVID and how often will be up to you or your production company. Do I have to test for COVID-19 every 24 hours? No. FSC's preliminary health and safety guidelines for adult film production recommend a COVID-19 PCR test one to two days prior to each shoot in order to reduce risk, but that timeline is not mandatory. Some companies and producers are requiring 24-hour tests, but others may not. We have few guarantees with COVID, so as a performer or producer, you will have to determine your tolerance for risk. The guidelines have been developed by an industrial hygienist to reduce the risk of COVID-19 infection and transmission on adult film production sets of all types. The document provides general guidance and suggested procedures, but does not contain mandatory requirements regarding how the plan should be implemented, nor how production must be done. How much time do I need to allow after a shoot before retesting for COVID-19 for my next shoot? FSC's preliminary health and safety guidelines for adult film production do not make a recommendation for how much time to wait after a shoot before retesting for COVID-19. However, if you are testing every one to two days, you will likely need at least one day off between shoots in order to have time to get a new test. The more time you can allow between shoots, the better. Do I have to get a COVID-19 test from a past certified lab? No, you can get a COVID-19 test anywhere. The PCR test is available. However, the results of your COVID-19 test will only appear in pass if you receive your test from a past certified lab. 
If you choose to get a COVID-19 test at a lab unaffiliated with PASS, number one, ensure that they are using a PCR test, and number two, use discretion in verifying test results. Many laboratories use secure portals to display results. Try to use these over paper test results or a screenshot. Performers can choose to get their COVID-19 test at a PASS certified lab or from another more convenient provider. Crew members can choose to get their COVID-19 test anywhere. Now there are a few other questions and answers on this FAQ that I just read to you from and I'll go ahead and put the link over on Poor News Today as well as in the description of this particular video. But active talent use common sense listen to people whose faces and identities you can put to their words don't listen to some mystery blogger who nobody has any idea as to who they are what they look like and especially don't listen to bloggers who are affiliated with organized crime my suggestion to you listen to Michelle LeBlanc. She's the leader of the Free Speech Coalition for a reason. And that reason is that she is a very intelligent woman who, from my perspective, has a good heart. So take care, everybody. Have a great day. Protect yourself. Love yourself. And again, I'm Alex Mayers of PornNewsToday.com and the PNT Live Network. Bye-bye. <laughs> What? <laughs>